Hello and welcome to my channel, The Healing Butterfly. My name is Lady Day. I am an overall intuitive reader as well as a medium. Today's message is going to be pick a pile. We have um, some messages just overall from spirit. Um, today I just got this, I need to do a, a pick a pile message. So anyways, um, we have pyrite for pile one. Um, we have malachite for pile two, and we have amethyst for pile three. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not a personal reading. This is a collective uh, pick a pile reading. So if the messages um, don't apply, don't try to make them fit. Um, again, if you try to apply collective messages and all the details to your life, you may end up picking up some energy or some information that's not technically for you and maybe making a, mad, a bad decision or taking on, again, emotions that just aren't for you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the singing bowl. Inside the singing bowl, I have my sacral and throat chakra um, mantras. And I'm going to play the singing bowl. And please just review the, um, the different crystal piles. And wherever you're called to, um, don't second guess it. That's exactly um, the message for you. Everything will be time stamped. So if you, um, after the singing bowl, or if you don't want to listen to the singing bowl, go right to the message that is for you. Let's start um, with Pile 1, Pyrite. First cards out are Confidence. It comes with Time and Practice. And Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? So the first thing that I get is that with this in 923, so um, you may be a Libra. I think Libra starts on 923. Um, is that there's something that obviously... Um, was burnt down that was tore down something that um, what does this say once upon a time so there it is okay okay so there was definitely a storyline something that you thought was going to be your happily ever after um, that came to a halt and I do feel you moving on and but moving on into where is what I'm and what I just heard moving on into where so maybe you're asking yourself now that I've burnt down my home everything that I've known to be me um, you know what, what does that mean for me where is this taking me um, the next card out is poised. So I do feel like there's this fancy free, the same way her arms are flared out here and here. It's like, you no, know, even though you're a little skittish or, you know, hesitant to take this step, um, and I'm, I'm hearing like, it's not even like take this step. It's like you have no choice but to move forward from whatever was turned down, burnt down, um, came to an end. It's like you still feel free inside of you. There's still something inside of you that is just very excited about, excuse me, this new start. I'm getting hiccups or something. The next card out is emotions are running high, super moon. So again, that comes, I, I, I'm feeling it very, very heavily right now under the poise um, for this particular card is that there's a lot of energy either in or around you and you can feel it. You know that it's coming, but you're just, there's just, again, just like some hesitancy or some questions or some concerns in regards to what exactly is this that I'm feeling, you know. The next three cards out from the tarot are the Nine of Cups. Wonderful. Wishes come true. Your dreams become reality, a magical time of life, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well. There it is, the dreamer setting out on a new journey, a new start. Trust yourself, push your fears aside, okay, and take a leap of faith. Excuse me, about to sneeze or something. Ooh. Do you have allergies or something like that? Because my nose was fine before now. Um, and then the three of coins, three of pentacles. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and 
excellent reputation. So you're definitely moving into a space where whatever you're getting ready to work on or wherever spirit is getting ready to take you or the divine has for you, it's getting ready to end up in your nine of cups. You're definitely getting ready to, um, I'm also hearing a genie and a lamp. So there may be a situation with this super moon um, energy where something comes and it feels like it's a, like a real like wish, like a genie just granted your wish type of thing. And I feel like um, also maybe some of you are into art. You create something, you make something maybe by hand because my hands are on or moving. Um, I can feel the energy. Um, maybe you create something by hand, uh, whether that's paint or sculpting or something like that, jewelry. Um, I'm feeling it's more artsy. So I'm feeling like it's, it's items that you would buy inside of like a craft store, like a Michaels or something like that. Um, and whatever this is, someone may purchase something from you um, at a really high price. And that may start this new endeavor of your nine of pentacles of having like this business and, and it's like this genie granting you this wish of this this successful business. The next card we have out is the soulmate card. Never give up on something you really want. So again, I, I, bringing that back to this business or this venture that you really want. Again, you may have walked away from corporate altogether. You may have walked away from love altogether. Uh, but whatever it was, there is something that has because you let go of this it opens up this new spark or it opens up the window of opportunity for you to start this this venture this thing that you've always wanted to do next we have the <laughs> island time wellness love uh cards so the first one out is hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it Uh, the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth keys on a ring many options decisions unconventional strung along one night stand cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head and paradise <laughs> Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. So again, I do feel like there was something that was outdated. It was no longer for you. Something that you tried your best um, to keep going to, to try to make it work. You definitely put in your, your time and your energy to make whatever this thing was in the past work. But it was just outdated. The person was outdated. The situation was outdated. It was no longer for your energy is what I'm hearing. Um, and it's time. It's time for you. So the butterfly, thank you. Um, it's time for you to evolve into this person that you're supposed to be. And, and there, that's where your paradise is by evolving into the person that you're supposed to be. You'll find paradise. You'll find that I'm, I'm just feeling like there's this momentum or this endurance um, that you need to still gather within yourself that will keep you going on this path to paradise, to success, to your nine of cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck is earth elemental. And these are your affirmations. I gracefully accept the abundance the earth bestows on me. Yes, come on. And then abundance. With the butter. Is that butterfly? Yeah. Butterflies. Abundance. I am grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life. And then your uh, angel card is reward yourself. And this comes back to the child healing the inner child wounds as well. You've been given, um, you've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation on a consistently high level. Make time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. So, um, the first thing I, I'm hearing is like, yes, you you could go and buy. Um, what is that? A seafood? Crab legs? I don't know. Maybe you like crab legs. Um, you could go or, or hibachi or I don't know. Maybe you, you could go reward yourself with a nice meal. But they're saying something that in a meaningful way. So maybe um, if you're, I'm hearing, new into um, divinity, maybe go get some crystals. Um, go get some incense. Go get some sage. Um, go and find a new, I don't know, um, 
I'm seeing the chakra point. So maybe it's new chakra crystals. Maybe it's a new chakra healing kit, something like that. But it's something in a meaningful way. Um, even by, I'm also hearing um, gym equipment. So if you're looking like I need to buy a gym equipment or buy a gym pass or something that's going to benefit your mind, body, and soul. Okay. So I hope this message resonated with you. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know if you like the message. Um, thank you so much. Peace, paradise, and prosperity to you. And protection, sorry, to you and your loved ones. Sorry, team. I'm going to have to clean this up so that we can move into the next message. to Malachite. First card out is thrown. Your potential is endless. Um, I am hit, um, feeling or feeling uh, like soul tribe vibes or um, you and your click, you and your not click. We use click. Do we use click? I don't know. We might. <laughs> like you and and your and your tribe, you and 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 your team are bossing up to another level. Um, it may be a thing of you all talking about getting a business, talking about how can we move on to another level of business, how can we invest um, our money. Um, something about coming together and leveling up, finally getting to that that level of lifestyle that you are looking for. Imagine, imagine that it can happen and it will. Um, I'm feeling like there's a lot of light. I'm feeling very light, um, prayer-like, um, ascension-like. Um, maybe you've recently had clarity. Maybe that that um, creative, you know, that uh, I want to get on that creative endeavor. Maybe it's, uh, I'm feeling like Disney Pixar vibe. So, you know, like the creator, like when someone goes to create a Disney Pixar movie, their imagination is endless. And I feel like that's been triggered for you um, here recently. And maybe even your tribe has have triggered that. Maybe y'all triggered that within each other, your soul tribe um, or family. It could be family. It's time to release negativity. Uh, full moon in Scorpio. I don't feel like there is. Oh, maybe you let you. Oh, okay. Did someone get X'd out of the of the, the group? Did someone get removed from the group? Um, was someone trying to get into the group? <clears throat> was someone trying to break up the group? That's I'm getting all all of that. Because I feel like there's no real negativity here, but I do see like some fire. So maybe it's the situation like you had to tell someone to back up, like maybe they weren't going to be a part of this new venture. Maybe it's a larger group than just three. And, you know, some people thought they were coming along with the boat. And it's like, well, no, you're not coming along for whatever the reason. I feel like it's kind of like you don't have anything to contribute or you wouldn't have anything to contribute or um, they may bring the negativity. They may have just like very curt um, way about business. It's like some somebody is like, I, I, I can do personal, but I can't do business with them or something like that. Bottom of the deck is the Prince of Wands. Enthusiastic, optim, optim, it's all fire. Optimistic, creative, impatient, news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Fish, finish what you start. The Three of Wands. Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. And then the seven, there goes that that standing up, that seven of wands. Like I said, somebody's like, no, nah, we're not doing that. Stand up for yourself and your belief. Beliefs have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. So, um, thank you, Spirit. Um, I, I truly, I'm truly feeling here that there is a new passion and excitement from um, something that you're envisioning, you know, coming to fruition. And someone may be trying to come in and take over. Someone may be trying to um, impede in on this decision or something like that. But it is highly um, suggested that you stick up for yourself, not in a negative way. Don't bring don't bring the fire unless, you know, if someone wants to get snappy, well, you know, you handle it accordingly, not by getting snappy back, obviously, um, but standing up for the, the path that you're planning. Because it does, I'm, I'm feeling like it doesn't impact one person, it impacts multiple people. So maybe that's also the way to go about it, is to have a sit down and a conversation. And, and I'm hearing, like, let's get down to brass tacks. Like, let's really get down to what we're doing, why we're doing it, what we're investing in, and how much this is really going to take out of us, whether that be time, money, whatever it is. 
Um, and, and we're not going to allow this person to come in. And it could be a Scorpio um, that could be, you know, trying to impede on this situation that you have with um, with this team of people. Yes, uh, your soulmate card is eventual awaits. Go find it. So again, this is just highlight like this so bright and brilliant i'm hearing this a brilliant idea as well um this is going to take again prince of fire so you're definitely ready to get out there with that childlike energy and make something happen um i don't know why i'm feeling like maybe a uh, desert i don't know if you live in arizona maybe you do or you don't if that resonates wonderful if not let it go um but I'm just feeling like, uh, again, very, uh, just like this, there's so much for you to see and do. So many places for you to go. So I don't know if you'll be marketing your um, your business or your product in person. You know, like you'll be actually on site doing maybe pop-up shops or something like that. But I just feel like there's these different venues that I'm, I'm finding in my mind's eye. Alrighty, so to your uh, island wellness love, the first is girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries again right here Someone doesn't come with good intention Excuse me, and you can feel it. You know it one or more of you may be an empath. Okay And I do feel like someone can feel like this person is not going to be good for us It's not going to be good for our business and it could be a decision. It could be a vendor It could be a couple different things But I know that there's a feeling that someone's like no we're not going to let them into this business. So even if you have some business with someone and you're looking to maybe venture off into something else and you're like, no, but I don't want them a part of this. You're feeling it and you should stand up for yourself because abundance, abundance is yours. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss, and then hand of cards. Yes. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, and gambling. So, um, and I'm feeling that like a two, there's two-way energy here. It's like, yeah, take a chance because it, 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 as long as you are coming from a heart space and you really are enjoying what you're doing, it, I mean, it can be a beautiful, abundant thing. Um, but not showing your hand to whatever this energy is over here that you want to stay away from, okay? Um, the next we have is your affirmation cards. Okay, Archangel Gabriel, you've been working it out. Gabriel and Michael have been working it out this 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 go around this season here. Um, I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. So again, into um, okay, thank you, Spirit. It's kind of like an overall arching, so I'm gonna sit it here. Um, but it's like invite him into this because there's hope on this side. Again, bring hope that this is going to. Um, bring hope that this is coming into fruition sorry and then um having intuition and in when these situations happen and someone is not the best for you that you know when to walk away from those situations and to stand your ground and then at the um the, the last affirmation is gratitude i am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons each bring so even in again be grateful that this is even an opportunity i'm hearing um, be grateful to, for the things that are coming your way, but also be grateful for the intuition of when to know when to walk away from someone or when someone should not be on your path. And then your angel guide message is trustworthy guidance, which I love this with the fact that Archangel is down here. Archangel Gabriel is down here. You've received a wonderful idea. Like I said, there's something that you definitely... You received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related. Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So don't be afraid to call on your spiritual guides. Archangel Gabriel is um, very strong with those who are watching this message. Um, so I hope that this was able to help you, give you some comfort and some insight. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and um, give me some feedback. Let me know how you felt about the message. Peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. Thank you. All right. Next one out the gate, number three. All right, third pile. Amethyst. First cards out, raindrops, take a chance on them, feather, think before you judge. So is there someone that you think or you thought was your person or you want to be your person 
um but maybe i'm hearing like they're uh, i'm hearing it's silly stuff oh gosh i'm hearing like they're they might be you know larger than you know a heavier set person than what you want or a shorter person than you want or they're eclectic so they might do like purple and blue hair and like i'm hearing just very uh like candy coated that's what someone just said candy i don't know if that means anything to you but like candy coated like on the outside like judging a book by its cover or something like that or maybe you feel like you were judged by your cover or judged by your beliefs as well it could be because maybe you are a spiritual person maybe you do have cauldrons maybe you do crystals maybe you do whatever it is um i'm, I'm feeling that very very strongly next mm, next card out is not for you Oh, now I'm real curious to see what else is here because I like I said I just feel like somebody is like kind of being judgmental on the outside um but wanting I, I, I'm just going to say I feel like there's this judgmental on the outside but you want someone to accept all of you you don't want to accept all of someone but you want someone to accept all of you again whether that is all of you watching or someone wants you to accept all of them but they won't accept all of you you know however it resonates new moon Yes, a new start is coming. So, okay. I might end up having to pull more cards on you, this one. Let's get the tarot out and we'll get back to the love. Yeah, there it is. Like I said, I knew, okay. Yeah, this is about love. More about love than anything else, I think. Um, from so far, the lover's card. Embrace true love, deep, intimate friendships, make cho make choices from the heart, vibrant health or recovery from an illness, wise counsel, counselor, sorry. Unity with the spiritual minded community, ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best. And then queen of pentacles. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make more, anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, be practical about how you proceed, a love of art and beauty, a sensible approach. <sighs> okay, there's definitely a, um, a decision in regards to where you spend your time, who you spend your time with, and how you're spending your time, okay? There's obviously someone that I don't think, and I'm going to be honest, I don't think that they suit your best needs. Well, there you go. I ain't never heard nothing like that. Not a day since I've been in here. So ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Um, and that was someone drilling. You're trying, like a force. Oh, yeah, there's like, there's this, someone's trying to force something that, I'm sorry, there something is not for you, okay? This person and the way that they either treat you, talk to you, um, something like that. Like, it's like there's this, you're enamored maybe by them or you were enamored or y'all were in love at one point. But I think your friends are trying to, and not only your friends, I do feel like there's um, also spiritual guidance that's trying to bring you to understand that this situation is not for you. There's, there's definitely a more practical, generous uh, situation or person for you who may be um, an earth sign. But I just feel like there's there's luck on your side, but the where where you're trying to go back to is not for you. There is a new start. There is there 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 is a community and a counselor and someone who will accept you. But I'm just feeling again when I go back to this this past energy, it's just like a very judgmental energy. Like they judge judged you on your spiritual. Really, they judge you on your uh, maybe your spiritual path or your 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 spiritual. I'm, I'm just feeling like it's, it's like it started out as a year and, and they don't really, you know, got the best shape or, you know, and they don't really wear the best clothes. And, you know, they into that tarot stuff or they into that crystal stuff. Like, it's like all of these things that they were judging you about. And it like it never allowed the love to really flourish like it should have because they were always so comparis like comparing you to. I don't know the industry. I don't know what the industry means, but the industry or the way people look or video vixens or women that they're or I don't know why I'm saying women. So I don't know. Women or men that they're just used to dating, like they sized you up from the beginning and it just really never allowed something that should have been faded. I do feel faded because I keep coming back to these two fairies in this. It's like it should have been faded, but I just feel like this person just yeah, I'm feeling like a lot of judgment. 
and you got the twin flame card so this could be a twin flame journey that i'm talking about and if you know anything about the twin flame journey it's not all roses and uh, gumdrops according to greek mythology humans were originally created with four arms four legs and a head with two faces fearing their power zeus split them into two separate beings condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves so i do i do think that this was something that was like i said faded again um to to come together but there was a lot of judgment what was all the judgment about oh gosh there it is karmic relationship that's what ugh, i cannot stand karmic energy it makes me feel nauseous as hell fleeting triggers turmoil resentment less let lessons letting go and loving you again let because yeah, maybe you feel like you're addicted to this person or they're addicted to you. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint, and then mirror. It's the only reason why you're feeling this way because they're mirroring, either you're mirroring to them or they're mirroring to you. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So again, I do think that there's a brand new start for your life. I don't think that this person, even if they are your twin flame right now, is not the time for this journey. Right now is the time of the separation. I'm just going to keep it funky. Um, even if you feel like this person is supposed to come back to you, they may be in a karmic relationship that they're addicted to because it's mirroring back their own childhood wounds. They're holding on in codependent in a codependent relationship. So no, this, this particular journey right now, it's not for you. It's kind of like a double-edged sword for this card right now. It's like, yeah, it, it was supposed to be faded, but it, right now it's not for you. So allow this person, you and this person, to disconnect. Use wise, use your own wise counsel and wisdom, not just with yourself, but I'm also feeling like you have a soul tribe that have been trying to bring you into understanding that you need to have a fresh new start. So to your affirmation cards. Yes, that's beautiful. Sun goddess. And there goes your crystals. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. So again, um, healing to move into this new, this this new start. It's time. Welcome in the the fresh sun. Welcome in the fresh newness. Okay, and then movement meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. So that's maybe that's okay. Thank you, Spirit. That I'm getting a, oh okay sacral chakra and root chakra. So get to moving your lower half. Whatever that means, um, whether that's walking, whether that's dancing around the house. I'm hearing soca music. I'm hearing bachata. Um, I'm hearing um, <laughs> big booty hoes. Sorry, um, but that's it. whatever it may be. Um, maybe you do have a, a larger, you know, backside. But anyways, I'm just feeling like there's definitely this embracing and, and letting in the warm, you know, sun. We're definitely in that in that um, in that season where the sun is out. But I'm also feeling like a lot of movement of that lower half. So whatever that may be, swimming, riding a bike, going on a jog, or just dancing. And then what we have from uh, spirit is innocence. So I do feel like you were the innocent party in whoever's watching. You were the innocent party in this twin flame relationship. I think that you really tried your best to make this thing work. Um, beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that you may shroud your loving outlook. That may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So again, just kind of bringing in that they are definitely, I'm also seeing that they're comforting you. I'm hearing in your sleep, I hold you. So if you have a mother, Angie, Kathy, Trina, Tina, Sharon, Olewu, Wow, that was a first for me. Alewu. Alewu. Okay. If any of those names <laughs> resonate with you, that 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 uh, family member that I feel it's a, it is a feminine energy, but I, um, that family member is calling out to you and they hold you in your sleep. They give you so much love and protection, and I'm hearing like um, reju like they rejuvenate you or. You know, like like when a child gets hurt and you kiss their boo-boo, like they're giving that energy to you in your sleep. So I hope that resonated with you. Thank you so much for stopping by and um, tuning in, lending me your energy of light and love. Um, I wish you all the best. Peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. Please stop by again and see me. Until next time, namaste.